everyone, my name's Electric Donkey, and uh, today we are back on the No Man's Sky recreation kind of project thing we've got going. So, in the last video, which was actually yesterday, we didn't do very much at all, and I apologise for that, and that's why the, another video out directly the day after, basically, was just me asking you a question. So I thought, you know, we can't really leave it on that. So let's just go and have another video, and this video we're actually going to do some coding. So, first of all, I'm just going to inform you about how um, I planned to lay this out. So I got a little suggestion from a guy called Rainbow Wolfie, and he suggested, why don't you have a load of planets scattered around that you don't actually travel to? Well, you do travel to in your spaceship, but then when you get close to them, you click them, and it beams you down to a randomly generated world. I thought this was a very clever idea. You could have it kind of like Starbound, but with a mix of flying in there as well. And that's something that looks quite interesting to do. So the first thing we're actually going to go ahead and do is make a object. And this is going to be our object player, because as always, that's the first thing you ever do. Sprite player, and for the minute we're just going to leave that one empty. Because what we're going to be focusing on today is actually the spaceship and the spaceship movement. So, we're going to make another object, spaceship, this time. And I do apologise once again for my pretty bad representations of a spaceship. I'll try and improve that outside of videos, you probably don't want to see that. But in the meantime, we're going to be making an event. So what do we actually want our spaceship to do? We want to be able to fly around space. That's what a spaceship does, isn't it? So really simply, all we're going to need for the time being is a step event. We're not going to have any fancy gravity actually in the space world because technically there is no gravity in space anyway. And uh, the planets aren't going to have gravity because they're just going to be little visual glowy representations of the planet. They're not actually going to be the planets. So in our step event, we're going to just write a little comment. And three slashes actually means a title, if you didn't know that. And uh, we're going to have our movement. OK, so what are we going to want to do in this movement? I'm actually going to use a very, very basic representation of movement in this you can go ahead and do whatever movement you want but for me I like to use switch and uh, switch keyboard input as a matter of fact if we can find it it's somewhere near the bottom normally oh maybe it's not keyboard input what is it key press something like that oh dear I've completely forgotten um I don't remember what it is I thought it was keyboard underscore input, but uh, apparently not. Let's just try. I'm pretty sure it's the under the example of keyboard. Ah, keyboard key. That's it. Something else is input. It's scrabbled my brain, I think. So, actually put a space in there. We're going to want to do this, and this is actually, if you're going to switch, you can actually just copy this straight from here, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go and write it out myself. So, case, board, we're going to use W, we're going to use WASD for this, you can use whatever keys you feel necessary, but I'm, I'm going to use WASD, because I'm on a laptop. So then, if we're going to move upwards, we're going to have Y, and then we're going to, I don't know which way around it is off the top of my head, so we're just going to put it that way around for the time being. And then break. Now comes a really easy bit, we can just copy this four times. Change this to A, S, D. Change that to X. Change that to... No, we don't need to change that, we're going to change that. And then we're going to change that and that. That's it basically. Just open that up one more time so you can have a look at it. That is our movement done. Pretty easy, right? Now we're going to place our spaceship in the room and just go ahead and test this works. It should do. Oh dear, we've got a little bit of a problem there. So, also what I forgot to mention is in our spaceship and our player actually, we need to make sure the 
depth is minus one. This is because otherwise it will get drawn behind the background and that's not really how space works. Right, so if we drag this in now, it's still not going to work because that's apparently how it's going to work. We've probably ticked foreground image, that's why. So if you want to know why that's going wrong, you just go back into backgrounds. For some reason, we've ticked foreground image. I'm not quite sure when that will ever come in handy, but uh, apparently we ticked it at some point. So now if we go ahead and run this, we should be able to move our spaceship around using the WASD keys. Pretty, um, pretty clunky movement actually, we'll probably change it later to make it a bit more smooth. Maybe add thrusters and stuff like in No Man's Sky, it has hyperdrive and all that sort of stuff. But for the time being, that actually, we got that first try, we can see it's, it's super duper clunky. But it works, and that's all that really matters. We've got a really derpy spaceship, but we need to do one more thing before we just go and leave it. We need to add a view. We need to enable the view and make it visible when the room starts. So our room is currently at 1,000, and I think it's, I think it's, I can't remember actually. Normally I set it to one two one or two four. Yep. Um I've actually that's a bit odd. What do I normally set it to? I can't remember. We so we just stick with that. Basically for the view in the room we're gonna half this, which would be five hundred wait five one two I believe. And half of that would be Three, eight, four. I think. <laughs> Don't hold me on that. But if we go, actually, we, we want this to stay the same. Almost forgot that. But of course, I always forget this because I look at this. I think, oh, I've done. I click that. Nope. There is uh, the object following. So we need to make sure it's following the spaceship and the H box we're just gonna set that to we're gonna stay relatively close so 400 and that to 300 we'll just see how that goes views is always a kind of play around see what works what doesn't work but of course when we're having our no man's sky in this in space we want to not be able to see every single planet and pick and choose which one we want to go to we want to have to uh, kind of actually discover it ourselves so we can see we can kind of go to about there and there it's kind of really really derpy we're just kind of stuck in the middle there but yeah for the time being that will do. You can play around with that yourself guys, I'm not going to go over it for ages. One last thing I would just like to mention for this project, if you haven't done this already, is to go into the global game settings. I always do this when I'm starting a game, because I don't know why this setting would ever really come in handy. But if you go Windows, Graphics, turn off interpolate colours between pixels, it makes everything really really fuzzy and I don't know why you'd want to make it more fuzzy but some people obviously do and it comes ticked as default so guys we've done a bit of coding there we've not done that much however in the next video we'll be going ahead and adding these planets in that we can go and fly to and actually discover and then in the video after that we'll go and do some world generation which I'm sure is what you'd all want to see so for the time being guys, that has been it for this video. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, or just do whatever you guys want to do, and remember to join me in the next one.